we have done uh, three times the international school in uh, Italian language, but now it's time to make it happen in, uh, in English. So, I mean, we had a lot of requests and I believe that, uh, I mean, it was really time to start with the uh, English version. So we have some uh, special guests uh, tonight. Uh, we have uh, Carla Stecco that is going to be here with us. Um, uh, Carla, if you want to join us and then we will uh, talk a little bit more with her. And uh, at the same time, we'll have uh, some students of the Italian uh, school and as well, some of our teacher that uh, will be present uh, during the, the school. Um, so before we start, um, let me introduce myself. Uh, so for who don't know me, I mean, I'm, a, I'm Antonio Stecco. I'm a assistant professor in New York University School of Medicine. And, um, and since a while, I'm uh, the president of the Fashion Manipulation Association since 2011. So for me, it was a great pleasure to be part of this, um, this big family that uh, over time have grew up a lot uh, worldwide, we, we can say. Uh, we are not just present in NYU, we are collaborating with a lot of university I mean, we can tell you that uh, we are in a strong relation with the university that are present from East and West Coast in US, but as well in South America, in, uh, in Rio, for instance, we have a lot of collaboration with university in Europe, but as well in China and Japan. So, I mean, this growing have permitted to interact with different uh, facility to get uh, interaction to build up new research about fashion evolution in this way grew up and uh, improve the background that uh, you know support this method make this method you know one of the i want to say more appreciated method worldwide so this is like a a process that went through in the last 10 20 years but we know that this method it was invented by luigi stecco 40 years ago. I mean, it's really important the collaboration that we have established, not only with the you know, university, like we explained before, but is really, really taking off the collaboration with sport team. I mean, the clubs, the sport clubs are really, really, you know, joined our method, understand the rule of uh, fascia for prevention, first of all, improve performance, and also to you know, restore the biomechanics of their athletes. So we know worldwide that uh, there are specific athletes that uh, they have uh, uh, basically high risk of injury, but a lot of time not due to direct trauma, but due to overuse. And uh, so far, there is not as many way to figure it out what is wrong in these athletes. So they're investing you know, tons of money to evaluate with gait analysis, uh, what is wrong, uh, what pattern is incorrect in these athletes. But then uh, what we realized that with this data, they don't know exactly how to move forward. So they understood that there is something more complex in our biomechanics to explain this uh, magnificent, you know, brilliant gesture as I'm talking about like a picture in baseball. So like in, just in US, we, are, have, we have done uh, a private course for half of the team of the MLB. So half of the team of the first league of baseball, they request uh, to train all their healthcare team in order to apply fashion evolution to their athletes. And we are having really great success with them. We really saw decreased dramatically the injury, increased performance. In the COVID permitting, we should now start what we call pre-season evaluation. So evaluate the, pay, the, the athletes in this case at the beginning of the season 
in order to decrease the, the severity and the frequency of the injury, at the same time, uh, recover, restore the performance. So this is very important. And uh, as you see, we have uh, done uh, a lot of collaboration, even with the you know, university or like Olympic team, uh, like uh, in Beijing or in other uh, place, like in, uh, in Qatar or in uh, Abu Dhabi. Um, so this is to explain that uh, the field of sport, even for us, is a really high, exciting you know, topic that we are developed day by day. And I'm sure that um, this could be like a, a great possibility for everybody that are, you know, fashion population in their, in their, you know, box of tool. Um, so this is why, this is why the method have, uh, you know, develop and have get stronger and around the world. So the people really understood that fashion population is a good way, an excellent way to assess patient athletes. So this is really a way that allow you to figure out what is wrong. So even if the athlete doesn't have symptoms, you can figure out what is wrong. But the assessment process is useful even if you use needle, even if you use shockwave, because at the end of the day, understand where you have to apply a technique, a method is the key element that a clinician need in order to get as faster, as sooner possible, the result, as better as possible the result. So the assessment process was appreciated. Uh, and we don't have to, you know, to what you say that we are teaching uh, this method, even to medical doctors that do just shockwave, because they understood that uh, the assessment process of fashion evaluation helped them to realize what is the best combination of area that has to be treated to restore biomechanics. So the key element in this uh, non-specific pain is exactly that the, the location of the pain it doesn't mean that it's the source, the region of the pain. So the science behind the fascia help to understand where the problem comes from. If we know from clinical perspective that uh, Without knowing the anatomy of fascia, okay, this is, cannot be understood properly. And this means that uh, you cannot make the correct diagnosis and the correct treatment. So for all these reasons, we understood that uh, fascia manipulation is the knowledge that people should keep, should learn in order to understand what is the rule of the deep fascia, what is the rule of the visual fascia, what is the rule of the superficial fascia? So you really, you have like a 360 view of the fascia system that of course will be implicated in different disorder because deep fascia will be, will be implicated in a muscle transmission force, will be implicated in mechanics, will be implicated in activation of the muscle spindle of receptor, mechanoreceptor. So the deep fascia is really important for like a, the basic, you know, musculoskeletal disorder that we, you know, daily face in our clinic. But we will go through with our learning process to the visual fascia. So the inner fascia are very important. So how many people suffer of, you know, gastritis, irritable bowel syndrome, you know, bloating sensation, incontinence, you know, short of breath, so all disorder that they don't have a really origin. So sometimes they call like idiopathic or they give like a, a diagnosis, but without an etiopathogenesis behind. So even here, fascia will be a key element to understand where this problem coming from and to understand how we can approach this patient. And uh, I have to be honest, I mean, a lot of our patients that uh, you believe that are simple musculoskeletal problem, they have also internal disorder. So we will approach globally the patient in order to give uh, a full restoration of the quality of life, not just musculoskeletal, but also inner fascia, a inner problem. And uh, it's true, if you don't take care globally of the patient, I mean, 
it will be recurrent. The symptom can come back after a month, maybe, but it will come back. So have a, like a, a 360 view of the patient, assess the patient in a more global way will be critical. Again, this matter allows us to have a, a full view of the body because on top of that, we don't forget that uh, we have also the superficial fascia. Something that uh, for a lot of people is maybe new, but in reality is a tissue that have more innervation than the, the deep fascia. So superficial fascia, even if uh, is not so related to the musculoskeletal system, in reality have a more innervation of the deep fascia, but it's a autonomic innervation that a lot of, I mean, you, it's not conscious, but it can generate alteration of the sweating gland, alteration of the pillar action, alteration of the vasoconstriction, alteration of the pressure, alteration of the esteroceptor. So it can generate a lot of uh, disorder, again, that can, uh, can be borderline with pathology. I talk about uh, eczema, for instance. So again, this is like uh, what we have uh, built up over the year, because uh, even uh, our you know, process of research start from deep fascia, went to the visual fascia, and is growing up in the superficial fascia. So thanks all this knowledge, now we are giving, you know, more than 10,000 hours of education a year in more than 50 countries at more or less 2,000 people every year. But, I mean, this was not enough. So we have built up like a huge literature with books some of them will come up very soon. I'm talking about, for instance, the, the physiology of fascia for the inner fascia. So this book will come out uh, at the end of the year. We will come out uh, with new books about uh, the, the visual part. So we have a new practical part for level three and level four. So this is like a material that we, we are trying to, you know, prepare in order to allow people to learn more about uh, superficial fascia, inner fascia, deep fascia. So is, is a process, uh, these books, most of them are already available in English and in more than 10 languages, like uh, level one. The other one will be ready soon. And without forget that uh, our publication have, uh, are more than 200 so far in the uh, I believe that is the, the, the strength of this method. So we know that every method uh, make better, no doubt. But how many methods have proven with the randomized control trial that the result is there and the results stay there at three, six month follow up. So this is, seems a easy task, but it's not. It's really difficult to get in an international journal with the randomized control trial that take years to be performed and prove in uh, with you know a randomized control that this method is viable and uh, the results uh, are constant and uh, consistent over time so this is uh, the way that allow us to open the door of a lot of university a lot of uh, you know healthcare center so we, we are happy because uh, I mean, it was proven uh, last year that uh, the level of evidence of fascia population is really at the top of the typical therapy that we have uh, in the musculoskeletal system. So it's between like a moderate, uh, low level that uh, is not dramatic, but in musculoskeletal system, I have to tell you, there is nothing so well evident. So we have a level of agopuncture, for instance, in way more of a classical manual therapy, because unfortunately, most of the method in muscle skeleton are not specific and not reproducible. So you cannot reproduce, you cannot uh, define what should be done in a patient. Lucky for us, uh, fascia evolution in all our article, we describe in detail what was done, where was done, and how was done. Because fascia manipulation have a specific area that is hard treated with a specific uh, mechanics of your knuckle and elbow with a relative uh, correct, uh, I mean, definite time frame. So this is uh, 
a big, I mean, advantage of this method that allow us to publish a lot of uh, articles at the same time uh, allow us to, you know, get evidence. So with all these data that we have uh, presented, I mean, the, the necessity to give to this information to the student it was really big. It was really the key point. So we start uh, this uh, journey with the fashion evolution school, you know, different years ago, four or five years ago with the Italian version. So we start uh, the, the school uh, in our new institute that is in Padova. And uh, we start uh, with already, now we have the third edition of the Italian version to try to give all this information in a constant manner, follow up our student properly, you know, bring them from the beginning to the end, to the certification. So make sure that people, um, are really able to get all this information step by step, uh, digest properly, and then be ready to move on for the next step and be able to take care of all the disorder. So whatever patient come in, if it's an inner problem, inner fascia, if it's superficial, if it's deep fascia, so whatever symptom come in, be able to, I mean, approach properly. Um, so the way that we want to present and uh, the way that we build up our international fashion evolution school, of course, has to be different because we have a really already a request from uh, worldwide. So, I mean, we have already, you know, pre-registered person that they are from most, a lot of continents. We are talking about the Middle East. We are talking about uh, South America, North America. Okay. So there has to be like a, a way to give this material in a, you know, is a feasible, in a smart way. So technology right now, I really move forward a lot. And I have to say COVID push a lot to this process. So our international fashion evolution school is made by what? Is made by online on-demand lecture. So we really saw that uh, a lot of the people, whatever time zone they have uh, to watch the video one, twice, three times at their time uh, with their velocity, this is a big advantage. So there will be a specific amount of uh, lecture that will be provided month by month that people have to watch at their time and uh, learn the material. On top of that, we will move on with the live webinar, where it will be like a live lecture. And at the end, question and answer related to that online lecture. And on top of that, of all the lecture that you had watched in the previous month. So this will be like the, the, the setting that will go through in different you know, months of the year. But of course, there will be the on-site part. So everybody will move here in Padova. That is not as bad. We have mountain, we have the sea, we have the lake not far away. But that is not the reason why you will come here. You will come here for the weeks or for the practical part. So we'll have like a four day of practical part in plus one day of observership. So what it means? It means that I will other teacher will treat patient in a small group uh, and you will see directly like uh, all day long uh, treatment. So that is, will be the on-site uh, observership. But of course, the other four days, there will be all practical part. So end skill, manuality, treatment modality, position of the treatment, and as well as some uh, frontal lecture. And uh, of course, I mean, Padova is famous for dissection and uh, Carla, is here and we'll talk a little bit more about that. Of course, I mean, you cannot miss a dissection during the course, during the school. So we have already done for uh, the other school. And uh, I mean, 
have the possibility to go in the city where medicine was found, basically, and where Vesalio wrote the first Atlas of Fascia of anatomy, and where Carla wrote the first Atlas of uh, Fascia, I mean, he cannot miss it. So, Carla, if you want to tell me something more about uh, the dissection, that will be appreciated. So I, it's really a pleasure to be here with all of you and uh, I really hope uh, to have you in Padova. I think uh, that uh, I uh, teach uh, in uh, the uh, Fascia Manipulation School uh, in the last three Italian edition and uh, it is amazing uh, to teach uh, in such type of contest uh, because uh, I have met people coming from all Italy and it will be also much better to meet people that come from all over the world. And uh, it's a fantastic moment uh, to exchange opinion, to discuss, uh, and also in front of a cadaver could be strange, but uh, it is a very important moment to understand what is a fascia, why we need to study the fascia in a precise way. And uh, uh, also in this uh, new edition that I have just started this year, uh, I started immediately with the dissection uh, to see, okay, the anatomy of fascia is this one. You need to understand what is deep fascia, superficial fascia, visceral fascia, the main characteristics, and then we need to understand how to treat them. And uh, from this step, uh, we are moved to the fascia manipulation uh, method. And I think that the method permit to a deep understanding of fascia. What I can add, uh, I discovered working with the other student that fascia manipulation is much more difficult as I expected and as usually we think. It takes time, it takes to understand all the small elements that permit to do just a treatment or the perfect treatment. Are the details that create such a type of different, uh, difference. And with the fascia manipulation school, I think that we can give that. And that the second aspect that uh, I want to add is uh, that we have so many knowledge now about fascia. And every day we discuss in my lab about new ideas, new possibility with Carmelo Pirri, with Caterina, with Lorenza, with Lucia. And uh, we really like to share that uh, knowledge with all of you. So my lab is open, but also all my collaborators will be happy to discuss with you during the Fashion Manipulation School about all the research. So thank you so much. Yeah, so let me let me try to explain better how this works. So the school, uh, by the way, it will be accredited, is uh, already accredited by the European Accreditation Council for Continuum Medical Education. And the, the credit are uh, directly recognized by the American Medical Association and by the Royal College of Physicians and Surgeons of Canada. So all the credit will be done, will be, you will receive for the on-site part. So there will be the three weeks on-site, they will be accredited. So we already have accreditation for the first block and we are looking for the accreditation of the other two blocks that I'm quite sure it will come soon. So this I think is a big plus because get accreditation for an international agency like European Accreditation Council ME, or the AMA, so I believe that uh, that is a big plus uh, in uh, credits that uh, can be used for your career uh, to maintain your license. So pretty happy to get uh, this accreditation. And uh, if you want to have more detail, just go to aaccme.org website. You will have all the information about uh, which country are uh, directly accredited. 
in which other country you can just apply to get accreditation. Le, the lecture, how will be done? So we have a like online lecture. So eight part of about four hours each, but it will be even more because we will constantly update. So this is important. If you have a check, I will tell you, if you check like a, the program of our three previous uh, edition of uh, fascia immigration school, you will see that each one is different because each year there is something new about uh, the world of fascia. So we constantly update the school. And so each year, if something come up new, will you will be updated. It is very important. So the information will be allowed in the platform. So you go in your private page in the stakeholder learning environment. In October, November, December, February, March, April, June, and July, you will have a block of lecture that you can watch on demand. Then uh, at the end of each month, there will be the webinar on Sunday evening to allow you to get uh, basically, I mean, a live lecture and question and answer. And of course, we have three block on side that will be done in January in May and September. So that block of four day plus one, so five day, will be done in Padova, in our center. And that will be like the core of our course. So of course, in the first year, you will have like the basic knowledge. I mean, all the sequence, the plane, the treatment strategy, the clickly flow chart, so all the information that allow you to move on to manage disorder of the musculoskeletal system, mostly correlated with the deep fascia. In the second year, there will be more central fusion, spiral, diagonal, motor gesture. But we will start to analyze the central fusion and CC to restore the biomechanics of the inner fascia. So we'll talk about tensor structure, we'll talk about the catenary, pivot and distal point. We will look for global dysfunction because again, there is no way that you can fix a visual somatic problem without taking care of the visual part. There is no way that you can make better a referred pain in the legs without taking care of the origin. I'm talking about, for instance, like a heel pain that is coming from a, a chronic, you know, food intolerance, chronic, you know, constipation, bloating sensation. So we have to realize that uh, there is a major connection between inner fascia and uh, deep fascia. So if you don't analyze and treat the global, the patient, I mean, it, the risk of fail is very high. And then the third year, of course, superficial fascia will be the queen of the year. So we'll talk about the lymphatic monosystem. system. We talk about disorder of the adipose metabolic system, disorder of the thermal, cutaneous thermorator system, neurological problem, because I'm, I'm sure that a lot of you will work also with neurological patient. And why not? Fascia is a key element. In this patient, you can have clones, you can have spasm, you, have, you can have spasticity. So this disorder really correlated with the function of the muscle spindle. That as Carla said, the muscle spindle, it should be called fascia spindle because the capsule of the muscle spindle are in reality per perimysium. And perimysium localized in the periphery of the muscle. So really connected with the epimysial fascia, with the deep fascia. So have an incorrect state of rigidity of the fascia system will affect dramatically the activity of the muscle spindle. And this will lead to clone, fasciculation, spasm, and why not? Also spasticity. So we have published a couple articles and we will happy to discuss more on time in that. Just a moment, Antonio. The people that want to do some question, please write in the question and answer uh, section. 
in such a way at the end we can answer to each question uh, in a specific way. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, we will have at the end of time to answer all the questions. So just write down in Q&A and we will happy to answer. Uh, of course, this will allow you to direct become certified fashion population specialist because uh, with all this knowledge, we really want to make you prepare to use at the best this uh, information and to, of course, you know, get the best result as possible to your patient. So we really want to have, uh, you know, as many as possible certified fashion regulation specialists. We already have a lot around the world, but still not enough. We have a lot of patients that they are writing to us, they are calling us, they say, look, where I can find out someone that apply fashion manipulation. I saw at work with my friends, I want to have the same treatment, but I'm, you know, in my area, I'm not able to find anybody. So be able to have a certified fashion operation specialist is an advantage for both. Because for us, we have someone that we can trust and we can refer a patient. And for you is the best way to, you know, get the referred and, uh, you know, make sure that uh, is a clear person, uh, you know, uh, identified person in our website that can be, can get, uh, you know, refer for colleagues from other patients. So become a certified fashion operation specialist. It means that you will be listening on our website and you will be able to get, you know, constant information about, uh, you know, the research of fascia and the updates of fascia in this method. The school, of course, is not just me and Carla. The school is uh, many is teacher international that will come uh, in the different on-site part. So here we have like a, some of the teacher that you will face during the practical part. But of course, we have many more. Like in three years, you will be able to, you know, have uh, contact with a lot of uh, specialists that uh, have different skill, have different uh, maybe population of patient. So different experience that, uh, of course, will be something that will uh, enrich the, you know, quality of the teaching and also the possibility to approach many different patients because I don't have to, you know, I have to say that we will talk about the pediatric as well, how to man manage pediatric patient, how to manage elderly, neurological patient, sport patient, because a lot of them, they have specialized in this topic and we will try to give you as best knowledge to manage this kind of patient as well. Uh, so, the the time is going too fast and uh, i want just to say that uh, we are really invite you i mean to analyze this possibility and before to move on with more technical information i would like uh, to give you like uh, the testimonial of uh, some of our uh, participant of the Italian version of uh, our uh, school. So the, the school uh, is in Italian, but this school uh, is, uh, an, is already like a, an example how this information can be transmitted from student to uh, the teacher. So I let me give you the possibility. So Carla, can you a little bit uh, go out because it doesn't allow me to put too many speaker on. Um, okay, so let me move uh, the presenter. Um, so Gabriele Peroni, you should come. Uh, ben Richard, uh, let me see if I can uh, move uh, the speaker. Uh, so. Let me check because uh, there are maybe too many in line. Um, and so let me try again. Sorry for the problem, but uh, let me see right here. Okay. Uh, limited. 
Ok, here we go, here we go. Uh, hi Gabriele. Good evening Antonio, good evening everybody. I'm very happy to be here to give my feedback. Yeah, please let me let us know a little bit how what is your feedback of the okay I mean, of this edition of the fashion evaluation school because it's not the first one but it's the third one but you know please uh, okay. just give us a day. Uh, I am Gabriele Peroni now I am in the, um, at the third year of the fashion manipulation school 2019 edition and uh, I started the school because uh, I like anatomy and uh, in the school, I found what I was looking for, um, for sure. Um, the, the, I appreciate more of fascia manipulation, the study that uh, everything that uh, fascia manipulation propose is based uh, on anatomy, the observation of anatomy and on the uh, scientific method. And uh, this is what uh, I appreciate most uh, of the school and fascia manipulation in general. Uh, to say something useful for people who are um, uh, listening from home, uh, I can say that uh, in the school uh, I found uh, you will find two types of students. Uh, the first one uh, are students like me that uh, already work uh, with the, the method. And uh, you will find also colleagues that uh, um, start studying fascia manipulation uh, for the first time. And I can say, because I see it with my eyes, that uh, the school is it goes well, is good for both types of students. In my case, uh, now I, I am at the end of the third year, uh, I can say that I feel more confident uh, on uh, how uh, to handle my patient in my clinic and uh, how many treatment for certain type of condition, for example, uh, internal dysfunction, and uh, when I have to stop and, and when the courage to change my hypothesis. Okay, uh, I think I, I finish. No, no, just one question, because many people ask about what is the reason to, um, uh, if, uh, oh, sorry, uh, many people have already done the first and the second level, maybe also the third level. I think that also for you, for the same, uh, how many courses of fascia manipulation have you done before the school? Okay, before the school, I start practicing fascia manipulation in 2016, because my first course was in 2015 at the end. And I, I attended the, the first and the second level in uh, musculoskeletal uh, disorder. Then I make uh, a master class on the one and the second level, and uh, then I make another master class on the one and the second level, English edition. And uh, then I attended uh, in 2018 uh, the third level. Uh, of course, with fascia manipulation, if you start and if you like it, uh, it's difficult that you feel uh, to stop. Uh, I mean, in uh, in learning. So. Uh, I think the school is good if uh, you know, you feel that fascia manipulation, this technique uh, is uh, your way. And uh, even if you are already practicing or even if uh, you are in the beginning, uh, do the school because you will find uh, a really a deep understanding of the anatomy and anatomy of the fascia and the correlation with the, all the system, all the uh, visceral disorder with uh, the connective tissue. Okay, I hope I have um, answered the question. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, Gabriele. Uh, thank we you. have also. Uh, 
Paolo that um, uh, eventually want to give his uh, testimonial. Um, uh, let me see, Paolo, if uh, I can make you presenter. I mean, thanks a lot, Gabriele. Uh, yeah, if you want to, you can uh, uh, go out from the speaker room. And um, yeah, let me let me see if I can uh, have uh, Paolo uh, as a speaker. Um, he's there, but and uh, I want to introduce. He's uh, still uh, of the in the third edition of the school, and um, he's uh, he was able to. I mean go through all the material even if have done uh, different time uh, level already done level one and level two um i mean i have a uh, again the same problem as before uh you go uh, hi paolo hi antonio hi so, we have like a, some question that you maybe you can answer so again there is a uh, people that uh, have done level one uh, level two and uh, again I mean, you have done a, a little bit of information as well before. So what give you most the, the, the school? What is giving you the school and why you still need, uh, you still, uh, you know, believe that it is useful even if you have done already level one, level two? Yeah. Uh, first of all, thank you for the occasion. It's a pleasure for me to be here. And uh, yeah, when Carla and asked me to talk about the school the last week, uh, I have started to think, uh, how can I say a lot of wonderful and thousand things in two minutes? It's difficult, but I will try. To answer at your question, Antonio, I, in my opinion, I think that, uh, like Gabriele said before, when you start with fashion manipulation, and when the word of fascia, it's uh, something of amazing because you can find the reason of many disease, many condition and many disorder that before uh, at the university you studied uh, that is idiopathic, for example. So for me, uh, the study of fascia, it's, uh, it's very, very useful. It's important and I can treat patient uh, I can manage a lot of disorders better. So this is the main reason why I decided to follow the school after first and second and third level, because I have started with the fascia manipulation in 2016. And um, uh, talking about the school, I can say that uh, for the, the future student, they can find uh, a lot of, uh, part of anatomy and physiology of our body but looking at the fascia this important connective tissue that not many authors consider before and uh, in my opinion this is great because on uh, when you treat a patient with anatomy and physiology this knowledge permit to be more sure and to manage every kind of problem and uh, after that, um, I can add that uh, it's very important to have a continuous discussion with the teachers and uh, this is great to improve my practical technique because uh, if I don't understand a concept, if I don't know how to treat a patient or a condition, I can ask to the teacher to, or to Carla, to Antonio. And uh, so the continuous discussions in these three years is great for me. And uh, I improve a lot myself just with that. And um, uh, to finish, I want to say that uh, the school is a wonderful life experience because uh, you can find a lot of uh, colleagues, a lot of uh, that became friends, uh, I have met a lot of friends uh, and colleagues from all Italy and uh, Padova is a wonderful city. The teachers are very, very helpful. So I can say that it's not just a, a rule lessons, but it's also a good social experience for me. Wow. Um, too good. <laughs> too good. I mean, thank you a lot, Paolo. Well, I mean, it's true. I mean, Padova is very easy to reach. 
We have Venice Airport. We have yeah, Treviso yeah. Ven uh, Airport that is uh, 20 minutes from our building. So Venice have international flight uh, from, uh, I mean, from a direct flight from US, direct flight from Dubai, direct flight from uh, Abu Dhabi. So we, we, we are easily reachable for uh, international part. And with Treviso or Bologna, we have a low cost flight from all Europe. So these three airports allow us to be, you know, easy, uh, you know, reachable and at very cheap price. Because uh, like for us in Europe, we have EasyJet, Ryan, that, uh, I mean, really allow us to get there with, uh, you know, super cheap flight. Um, uh, let me uh, get, Thank you, uh, time is over almost. So we... Uh, well, we thanks Paolo again for your your talk. So thanks a lot, Paolo. Thank and, you. Uh, look, see you like uh, in see the you. next uh, event. Um, we want uh, to have uh, like a very quick, um, very diciamo, quick uh, information from um, like a. a a teacher that uh, he will be there the first year. So um, in, in this case, uh, um, the our idea was to make in contact with teacher from uh, worldwide that uh, can uh, I mean give you like uh, their personal experience. Um, so um, I believe that. Uh, we have uh, Natalie with here. Okay, hi Natalie. Thanks for joining Natalie, us. Natalie, how are you? It's great to see you. Well, I, I mean, <laughs> well, thanks for joining us. Thanks to join this special event. Um, I mean, you will be like one of our teacher, and um, I believe that even from uh, uh, from your country, people was uh, wondering to have. Uh, more information about fascia. And so, I mean, what is your feedback? So what they're asking you, uh, why there is so, you know, exciting, you know, uh, info from people that have knew now that the, the Fascia Integration International is uh, real right now. What What is your feedback? Yeah, so, well, first of all, I would like to tell you that I'm a teacher of fascia manipulation since 2013. And as a teacher of courses, I can tell you that the courses, not the school, but the courses have advantage and disadvantage. The advantage is that we take a lot of knowledge and it's really intense. But the big disadvantage of our regular courses is that actually sometimes I feel that I'm like a music teacher that gives the students uh, music notes. And I now tell them, I give them all the notes and I tell them, well, now play Mozart. So in the courses, we don't actually have a lot of time to make accuracy of the touch, to discuss cases, to actually take all this global, amazing method and actually give it as a practical, good tool to the students, because then the students have to actually make a lot of effort and study much more by themselves. In the international school, for me, it's the perfect place to actually take all this knowledge, but to take it from the, from the hands of the teacher to the student, because then the student can have actually all the teachers teaching them exactly where the points, exactly how to think about different cases. So it's not only just one week that we bring all this amazing knowledge and give the students, but we can actually digest it together. And I think that sometimes this is the difference between a good fascial manipulation practitioner to an amazing fascial manipulation practitioner with all the benefits for the patients. So I actually believe that this is an amazing, amazing idea. So Carlos Teco and Antonio, thank you so much. And I am sure 
that every person that will be in the school will benefit so much of that and so does the patients so great well, thanks, thanks, Natalie. Thanks for, I mean, your your information and uh, really, I mean, um, this is like is a special event. Uh, is the first, but I'm sure that will be repeated year by year. Just to go and try to answer at some question that we have from the participant. Uh, I mean, uh, we will uh, review your CV before to allow you to make a registration. So we uh, recommend you to submit your CV to info at fasciapolition.com. Uh, the, there is some question about uh, what, uh, what is the required, but again, uh, this uh, school is set up to bring you from zero, from A to Z. So all the information about fashion population, about fascia will be given. So is not required to have done any course of fashion evaluation, but uh, people that have done course, they will have a priority. So we have a 36 seat available. Uh, someone uh, are already preset, but uh, again, if you have a, a strong background uh, in musculoskeletal, you are more than welcome to apply for the school. Um, so I hope that I answer a few of the question in, in the chat because more than one are asking if they have to take a level three before to come to the school. That is not not necessary. Um, I, I have a answer. yeah. Go ahead. I can also add uh, in uh, the experience of uh, my school uh, in Italian that uh, um, also if you have already done the uh, first, second and the third level, I'm sure that uh, you have uh, other knowledge to know, uh, to learn, uh, and uh, surely you, uh, is a good experience. I have uh, seen people uh, without uh, any information about the fascia manipulation uh, to discuss with the people that work with the fascia manipulation every day, and from this exchange uh, to the discussion with the teacher, both of them have learned something more. So I think uh, that uh, both, uh, uh, there is uh, no discount uh, if you have already done uh, the first, second, and third level. You start again from the beginning, but in a different uh, way. And consequently, I'm sure that uh, you can take home uh, a lot of things. Yeah, so uh, there's another question uh, from India, for instance, like, uh, if they still can become certified. Of course, I mean, the certification can be done through all the process, level one, level two, level three, level four, plus the exam. Uh, the school will provide you all the material on the way of the three years. So it will be not required to do the full exam at the end that is... Uh, theoretical part plus five uh, practical part. Because, uh, I mean, the process of the school, uh, it will guarantee that you reach the correct uh, knowledge in order to get the certification right away. So this, I think, uh, it will be like uh, the, the plus of the school. And uh, of course, I mean, all the material, books and everything will be provided by the school. Uh, so you will be able to learn at your own the, the books uh, after the practical part. Um, I mean, the time is going fast. Um, I would like, uh, I mean, to, to you know, present this, uh, this special offer for the webinar. So we want to do still like an early bird discount until April 30. So, I mean, people that submit the CV and uh, they get accepted, uh, we, we are able to give uh, uh, a discount in the registration fee uh, to sit to the, the school that will start uh, end of September. Um, I mean, the seat uh, will be limited. Uh, so, 36, uh, what is the, the correct uh, you know, capacity of the institute? But uh, so far, I mean, it's nice to have uh, like, a, you know, group that are international, 
even Italy is in, is a very interesting to see people from all the region of uh, of uh, the state. And uh, when we have done an international course, get people from all over the world is still a very amazing experience, even for our teacher for us. So um, I think that uh, we have a uh, mostly answer uh, the question that I see in the chat. Uh, well, for any more information, we are here. You can still write to info at fashionpolation.com to get uh, the full program about uh, the first year and uh, get uh, more you know, technical information about registration, about uh, logistic, because we are happy to provide you, you know, how to transfer from the airport to the building and what is the best facility around here. Lucky for us, we have a lot of uh, BNB around, so it's relatively cheap and uh, in walking distance, uh, all the facility around that make a big advantage. And again, I mean, Italy is always Italy. I mean, I don't want to say that the food uh, are enjoyable, but uh, I mean, you can have a good time here. Okay, I, I really we will make sure that uh, you can have a good time. Um, and just to conclude, I remember you that this year are 800 year of the University of Padova. So it's a very important year to start a new school in Padova. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's uh, really the 800th anniversary, so it's a, a special year. And uh, we say, look, we have to run uh, whatever is uh, pandemic, war, whatever it is, uh, we have to make it happen. We have to make it happen. It's a special event. Uh, the first on-site part will be January 2023. So that is, uh, I think, is advantage for you because you can schedule it ahead of time uh, all the logistic. So we will start in September, in end of September, with the online part, and we will sit here in Padova, January 2023. So I hope that by that time, you know, situation flight and transfer will be easier. But I mean, we are more than happy to give you all the information that you need in order to you know uh, satisfy all your requests. So guys. Thanks a lot. Thanks to Natalie to be here. Looking forward to have you here in Padova. Thanks, Carla, that uh, will give us uh, all um, the information and uh, bring us to the to the cadaver dissection room. So great to have uh, all these people here and uh, hopeful to see you here in Padova soon. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Bye-bye. See you in Padova.